story. Melissa. Good morning. States are estimating they're losing up half a billion to even one billion a year in revenue to these online travel companies. And, and here's why. I want to show you the math. A customer paying $100 there for a room on Expedia, Orbitz, or other online travel sites. Now, say the tax rate 10%. So $10 from the guest stay should go to municipal taxes. Third party companies actually negotiate lower rates for rooms, say $80 a room. So the website then charges customers taxes on the higher retail room rate, but pays taxes on the lower rate. Critics are saying the community is out $2, and that the online travel site is making $22, therefore, in profit. Now, cities are fighting back. There are roughly 50 lawsuits that have been filed against these sites. Columbus, Georgia is interesting. It has two that are pending against Expedia and Hotels.com. Try to book a room here on Expedia, and you can't. Taken off Expedia's map or just delisted. It's a city home to 185,000 people and very close to the Army Post, Fort Benning. Now, the firm handling the case for Columbus settled with Orbitz this year. For 450000 you can now book a room in Columbus on Orbitz. Now, since there are thousands of these local tax authorities, the websites, these online travel sites, are fighting for some kind of standardization. There's a bill in draft form before lawmakers in Washington. The online sites say they're not hotels, they should not be taxed that way, and stress that no tax revenue is actually at risk. Deidre? Melissa, thanks very much.